Good morning, everybody. It's 808, March 1st. <coughs> you can see they're out there this morning. You can even see the chems where the sun would be over there. You know? Here, we get a better view right here, don't we? But they're all over the skies here this morning. But it's always curious to see you know, see how they're making the X's? You guys, we know they have a projector and they have to put these screens there to fan out in order for that projector to work. Okay. But you see them all back around me. We're getting real close. I got the sun on my face now. We're getting real close, you guys. It's an amazing thing, isn't it? It's cold out here. But I just thought I'd get you guys to see. They're really going heavy over there. And they're spraying as we're looking at it. Anyhow. Whew, pretty bright. Yeah, we had the cable guy working over here. And he took my my printing cable. Um, he took my printing cable where I would normally uh, excuse me, you guys. I got to start this up. Print out something this morning. I got a few pages marked in Avoiding here. Avoiding profane and vain babblings. Yeah. yeah, it's cold out here, you guys. At least it ain't snowing, you know. We're getting ready, I think I think today is March first, isn't it? Anyhow, um I'm gonna go over it a little bit, you guys, and in the description box, I already put it in there one time before. The uh, spiritual warfare that's actually happening right now. It's not happening to those that the devil's already got. It's only happening to those that have been uh, separated. He knows there's a spiritual war going on here. And uh, families are being separated. Um, there's a rabbi that um, also... I'll, uh, I'll probably put that second video in there, another testimony, the same one, where he's going to tell you he had to make a choice, and he did, and he said his own family stopped talking to him, and he said if you were to ask him, they would probably say that he was just dead, that he doesn't exist no more, and, uh, and this is what's happening, we're all being separated, but that's why Jesus said our true family do the will of the Father. And that's what he did. He chose to do the will of the Father rather than anybody else. Because he knows the truth. And that's what the Holy Spirit does to us. It lets us see the truth. The real things that are going on here. Anyhow. Um, what a time we're in, you guys. These are the amazing times we are in right now. Few people can see it, you know. This is where we're truly blessed. <laughs> Anyhow, you guys, hold on one second. All right, you guys, here we go. See, I got that sun right back there where everybody can see it. Come, child's right behind it. This is where we like to be, you guys. Right where the uh, <coughs> sun is. Anyhow. You guys. I need to get my scriptures. Here we go. This is spiritual warfare, you guys. Don't forget this. Alright. It's all very real to you. Matthews. Uh, chapter 12 verse 43 when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man he walketh 
through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. Then he says, I will return into my house from whence I have came out. And when he has come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. In other words, nothing there. Not even, you know, studying, knowing the word of God. You know, just this, you know, empty. And that's why they come in. Listen to this. Then goeth he and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there. In the last state of the man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. And that's why it goes in where it says Jesus is true family. While yet he walked, while he talked with the people, behold, his mother and brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. And one of them said to him, Behold, thy brothers and, and mother stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto them, that told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples, not towards all the people, but towards his disciples. Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother, my sister, and my mother. Okay? You guys, this is where I've been saying, I do talk about this a lot. Why? Why do I talk so much about this? And it's because people aren't acknowledging this spiritual warfare. And, and today, people having itchy ears. You guys, few people are going to make this. Very, very few. Just a handful Five wise, five foolish. And these unclean spirits, they're entering in to all these people. And that includes your families. You know, this is where people are being separated. And I've talked with uh, other people, another sister in Christ. She said her, her own parents came in trying to uh, turn her children against her. You know, these are some of the things that are happening. I even had it with my family, you know, telling me, you know, they had work, wanted me to come down there and stay and work with them, but they didn't want to hear nothing about Jesus. Nothing. This is how important it is. You need to have your vessel filled with the Holy Spirit, okay? Because when this time comes for refreshing, time for us to leave, um, only those with the Holy Spirit in them are going to be taken from here. And when the Holy Spirit removes its hand, why do you think it says children will be turning their parents in, having them put to death? Their parents will be having their children put to death. What kind of people would that be? They're no people. They're demonic. They're evil spirits. These, these things are manifesting right now into other people. Anyhow, you guys, I want you to check out the description box and... Uh, for that video again okay please watch it subscribe to him and I'm gonna tomorrow I'm gonna put another video together and I will uh, have uh, another video with him and his testimony and my testimony and uh, you know what we need to be doing how we need to be now this is where it says whom will you serve we choose whom we follow and who we serve not the things of this world. We have to be dead to this world. The reason why you hear a lot of these people say they sin in every day is because they're still of the world and they got, and they're, with their own mouth, they're telling you what they have in them. We're not saying we've never sinned. We just say we don't do those things no more we're now ashamed of. They can't say that. Why can't they say that? And that's in Scripture. The reason why these things are in Scripture and they don't talk about these Scriptures there's a lot of these scriptures that I, I go over all the time and they say I say the same thing all the time. It's because they can't deny what they say. You know, and other people should be talking about this. But they're not. Anyhow, you guys, I'm going to uh, look in the description box, okay? And please check this video out and share it with people that you know. It only work with the people that have their eyes open to understand. Everybody else, it's not going to work. And then I want to show you what they've done here. 
in just the past few minutes. Now, here's uh, John, verse 16, chapter 16, verse 13. How about when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. See, I've had people sit there and say, you know, you shouldn't be sharing your dreams. I just had somebody on the video yesterday. I wouldn't be sharing those pictures. I wouldn't be telling anybody about dreams. I just stick to what you're reading in the Word of God and leave that alone. And here it says in uh, 1613 in John, in chapter 16, verse 13, how about when the Spirit of Truth is come, He will guide you and, and into all truth, for He shall not speak of Himself, but whatsoever He shall hear, that shall He speak, and He shall show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you. <clears throat> you guys, the Lord, they're revealing to us the things that are getting ready to happen. Many people are, are uh, they're not even, they're telling people what they want to hear, but they're not telling you the truth. They'll tell you some of the truth, but most people ain't going to be ready for what's about to happen. You guys, just as sure as, uh, when Moses led them out of Egypt, they all seen and witnessed mighty things. Well, now the Lord is going to lead us out of bondage as Moses led the children of God out of bondage. Well, now the Lord's going to lead us out of bondage. We're about to witness some mighty things. This is where we need to rest in the Lord and trust in Him, okay? You has he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. You hear that? Who were dead in trespasses and sins. Now these other people, they can't say that. Instead, they're saying they sin every day. That's because they're still captive. They haven't been quickened. They haven't been quickened. Where in time past, you walked according to the course of this world. You can clearly hear what it's saying. Now remember, there's only a few of us that can read this and understand it, and we know that we don't do the things we used to do. We don't walk in the same way we used to do. But these people, Henderson Channel, Scarborough, they say they're sitting every day. They can't sit there and say this. They can't say this. You has he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin, where in time past you walked according to the course of the world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. See, when they're saying they're sinning every day, that is disobedience. And not only is it disobedience, it's willful disobedience. Okay? Check the description box, you guys. God bless each and every one of you. I hope and pray everybody receives a message from this. And uh, I love each and every one of you, you guys. This is a spiritual warfare we're in. Big time. Well, it's almost faded out. Oh, it's making another big X. Clearly see it, huh? Ain't that amazing? Make sure you guys can see it. Yeah, X marks the spot, huh? They're doing this everywhere, you guys. It's a wonderful thing, man. To be able to see all this. Huh? <laughs> and nobody else has seen it. We're truly blessed, you guys. But remember what I said. The Lord's going to deliver us from this. He's going to deliver us from this. We're going to witness and see things. Okay? So, we know who our brothers and sisters are in Christ, right? Don't have a spirit of fear. But trust in the Lord, okay? These are some mighty things, you guys. It's a spiritual warfare that's going on. And it's good to be aware. Other people aren't talking about this because they don't want you to be aware. See, those that are sinning all the time, guess what? Jesus said, something worse can happen to you. And it's happening to them. We see it already. 
God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.